Hello everyone. Our today's topic for moral science is respect for others. Respect is a very simple word that we use in our day-to-day -day life, but indeed, it has a very vast meaning. The first thing that strikes our mind is what is respect? When we talk about respect, it is a simple feeling, a feeling of admiration and deep regard. We can say the value for an individual. It may be ourselves, it may be others, it may be a value and regard and respect for the property, for the environment we live in, for the surroundings we have, for the animals, because respect is not confined only to human beings. We need to respect everyone. We need to be respectful towards others, towards ourselves, towards the properties of others or ourselves, towards animals, towards uh, plants and trees, towards the environment we are living in. So we need to be respectful exactly in the way we would love to be treated by others. When we talk about respect, we say that it is a continuing culture. That means it is a continuous activity that goes around and around and around. I respect you, you respect someone else, that someone else respects me. So what I give is what I get. So if I am nice to you, I respect you, I will automatically get respected by you. Respect is something that every individual deserves irrespective of where they come from, where they belong to, who they are, what position they hold, what color they come, uh, they have, what religion they come from, are they superior to us, are they at a better position than us, are they at a lower position than us, every individual has a right to respect. When we talk about respect, the word itself has letter R E S P E C T which say that R means recognize that every individual is different. We have to accept and believe in that fact that even though every human, every individual is different, but every individual deserves respect irrespective of the qualities they have. Now, when we talk about E, E says empathy, listen and connect to the other person, try to be in their shoes, try to understand their feelings, their position, and then try to help them. S means self-monitor, check yourself, look at yourself, think first, and then you speak. Personal space, P stands for personal space. That means give the other individual the privacy they deserve. Every individual has a right to their personal space, be it they are from your own family, they're very close to you, they're your friends, they're your colleagues, they're people at your workspace. You have to give them their space and their privacy. You cannot intrude. Earn trust. E stands for earn trust. But how do we earn trust? We earn trust through our actions. Our actions have to be good enough to earn trust trust right and if we earn trust we cannot earn simply by saying please trust me i am a trustworthy person i'll be nice to you no the other person will automatically trust you if you earn trust in the same way respect is earned respect is not demanded okay by your actions by your words through your deeds you will earn respect C stands for chair on others and their success. That means never envy someone who is successful, who is better off than you. Always be happy for them. Always share their success. Respect their efforts and respect their results. And in return, you will definitely get respect and Almighty will bless you with more blessings and you will be successful soon treat everyone as an equal something very important the end of respect but the most important thing that everybody in this world is equal irrespective of what qualities a person has and what qualities another individual has 
everybody is equal when it comes to respect we need to respect every individual in the same way we need to be nice by starting every sentence with please or saying thank you even if we are speaking to a helper at home it's always nice to be polite and say please can you get me a glass of water help asking your sibling to do your favor don't command say please respect the other person irrespect of their age don't bully be courteous be considerate about others feelings be polite so my children i expect you to respect every individual hope you have understood the meaning of respect you can make some activity like this you can make a flash card or a chart like this and hang it in your room to pledge every day in the morning that you will show respect you will listen to others when they're speaking without interrupting them showing them that respect that they deserve giving them that comfort that you value them and their words you will be honest in your life you will be helpful to others you will follow the rules even if it is a small game because you know when you have good values inculcated in you from the beginning from the childhood as you grow you turn out to be a very nice human being a honest person pledge your pledge that you will be responsible you know you will be responsible towards others towards yourself towards your belongings towards other people's property you will be polite and nice and pledge that you will treat others exactly the way that you want to be treated by others now when we talk about respect we understood what it is we also know that there can be opposites of respect right that is disrespecting others how do we do that intentionally or unintentionally we should you know not be disrespectful towards others by using foul language by not speaking politely by cursing them by not being fair by gossiping about others spreading rumors bullying our classmates and friends or anyone around us we should try to be respectful and be nice and polite towards others okay now a small task for you all i hope you all have understood what it exactly respect is and you will follow it every day in your day to day life you will respect every individual four simple questions you need to ask yourself and answer yourself is it okay to throw trash on the ground if no one sees you doing it and be honest you have your conscience okay you need to be honest and answer should you throw or you should not and why name a person whom you respect most and then think about it why why do you value and regard that person so much then does it show respect to apologize when you're wrong find out different ways different nice and polite ways how you will apologize to someone if you're wrong because apology never makes a person small it is always good to accept your mistakes and apologize last one is can you disagree with someone disagree with someone's ideas but still give respect to that person that means you do have a difference in opinion you don't come up to a same point on the say you don't have the same opinion about a particular thing but still you respect and value each other's ideas and opinions okay so that was all for today hope you all remember this that treat others the way exactly you want yourself to be treated by others because every individual has a right to respect thank you